Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Today's video is going to be about the transition from mostly copper pennies to mostly zinc pennies. That transition happened in 1982 and the goal of this video will be to help you determine what metal content your coin is made out of. There are a couple rare error varieties that we're going to talk about. One of them is a lot more rare, that's the 1983 copper penny. And one of them is super, super rare, which is the 1974 aluminum penny, which is only one known graded example by PCGS. Before we get into the details of today's video, I wanted to give a special shout out and a thank you to the following people who left some nice encouraging comments on yesterday's video about the no date Buffalo nickel. Special thank you to La Numis Numismatica, Del Flacco, uh, Sean Jerome, Lincoln Central Coins, Robert Coffrey, Stacy Jeffries, and Lena Tagnucci. Thank you very much. Glad you guys are enjoying these videos and thank you for the positive encouragement. As you know, that goes a long way to motivating me to make better and better content. All right, now let's take a look at all these pennies that we've got right here. So these ones right here are the 1943 steel pennies. Now these look very bad. Uh, that's because it was a flawed minting process that they used to produce these coins. In 1943, they needed more copper for the World War II efforts, so they decided to switch over and make these out of steel. Now the problem with that is that when moisture uh, got in contact with the steel core, it would start to kind of rust and corrode and look a lot more like that. So you can see this one right here has got some serious damage to it and it's got some rust on the outside. So the core of the penny is steel, but it's got a very thin coating of zinc. That thin coating, as you can see, wore off quite quickly. So we'll get those out of the picture and we'll look at these ones right here. There were over 10 billion 1982 pennies produced without a mint mark on them. The lack of mint mark indicates that it is from the Philadelphia Mint. Now I've got a collection of them right here. I've got an 81, a 83, a 83, 82, 85, or 83, and a 83. So the key date uh, for these that you're wanna, gonna wanna keep your eye out for is the 1983 copper penny. If you've got a 1983 penny that's mostly copper, then that is a error coin. The transition year occurred in 1982. So 1982, there's kind of a mixture of mostly copper and mostly zinc. So the mostly copper coins are gonna weigh 3.11 grams and the mostly zinc pennies are gonna weigh 2.5 grams. So if you've got a penny dated 1983 that weighs 3.11 grams, then you are in luck. Let's throw them on the scale that I've got back here. Um, now this is kind of a uh, cheaper scale, so it doesn't give you the best reading, but it's a good enough reading to tell if your coin is made out of the right metal content. So it's all zeroed out, which is nice. We'll throw this on there. So this one right here is dated 1981. So it should weigh 3.11 grams, which it does. 1983 right here. So should, that should weigh 2.85 grams. Excuse me, 2.5 grams, which it does. Uh, 1985, 2.5. Yep, 1982. So this one right here could go either way. We'll see if it's mostly copper or mostly zinc. Any guesses? So it's 2.5, so that means it is a mostly zinc penny. So the mostly zinc combination is 97.5% zinc, just 2.5% copper. The mostly copper is 95% copper, 5% zinc. Now the reason why they switched over is because the mostly copper penny actually had more than a penny's worth of metal in it. Uh, its melt value is actually about two cents in just uh, the metal content alone. So it would, would have cost much more than two cents to produce. So here we have a 1980, this is actually 1989, so it should be a clear 2.5. And this one's 1983, so maybe this is one of those special, special error coins that is actually made out of copper. Let's see. Nope, it is just made out of zinc. Now the other coin that I want to talk about, so that's kind of a good test. There are a couple other different tests that you can do to determine if your coin uh, is the right metal content. One is just like dropping it. So um, I'm not really gonna do that here, but if you drop it 
on a wood surface, the uh, zinc coin will make a different sound than the copper coin. Now I want to bring in these coins right here. These coins come to you from France. Now the interesting part about these coins is that they are made out of aluminum. And in 1974, the United States Mint actually started to make coins out of aluminum. In fact, the mint director ordered over a million of them to be produced. They were produced and then subsequently destroyed. However, not before they were presented to Congress. They were presented to Congress to kind of uh, show an example of what the aluminum pennies would look like as they were kind of trying to explore some different cost cutting measures. So they made um, about, about 16 to 40 of them were delivered to Congress and actually shown to Congress. And one of them at least has gotten away and has been graded by PCGS. Now the story behind that is that a gentleman um, by the name of Albert Tovin was a officer at the U.S. Capitol. He saw a congressman walking out of that hearing about the coin. They, he saw them drop the coin. He picked it up. He offered it back to them. They said that he could keep it. And that's how the story of the one that has been graded by PCGS that's actually out there in that's actually out there that belongs to someone. And that has a price guide of $150,000. It is ranked number three on the PCGS top 100 coins. Now I've got these right here uh, just to show you what aluminum coins looks like. Can actually bring back the scale. So we're looking at those pennies. Those pennies weighed uh, either 2.5 or 3.1 grams. And we're gonna throw this aluminum coin on there. It weighs about 3.7 for the five francs for the two francs, just 2.15. So this penny right here, which is much, much smaller, is gonna weigh more than the two franc coin. So that's just uh, something to think about. Um, this one actually has held up quite well, but the five franc coin is very worn out. It's very interesting to hold these aluminum coins in your hand as they just weigh so much less than what you're used to handling. All right, that's kind of all I've got for today's video. I'll start to wrap it up. I've got more informative videos coming your way for the 1943 steel penny. It's one of the more exciting uh, pennies out there. So a separate video will be dedicated to give you more information on this. Hopefully you found this informative to help you determine if your penny is made out of copper or if it's made out of zinc. If it's made after 1982, chances are it's made out of zinc. Uh, prior to 1982, it's gonna be made out of copper. Thank you very much everyone and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.